father is a very sick man. He has all my hair until I went to college. He has that. In bags. I've heard that hoarding is hereditary, but that doesn't begin to explain my brother's condition. I just really love content. I don't think my brother has ever willingly closed a tab. People say there's so much great stuff out there, it'd be a shame if I wasn't at least aware of it. He says things like, I really need to read this article about the Bolivian miners, or what about this one about eyewear in the Middle Ages? I mean, he has a browser just for episode recaps. I don't think he's ever watched any of the shows. My sister's always been a little different. I don't know if you've seen her desktop, but it's out of control. She has folders inside of folders inside of folders, and it's like a Russian nesting doll of sadness. My Jeff is very worried about missing future opportunities. When he discovered you can buy URLs without actually having to make the website, oh boy. As of today, I own 213 personal websites. He's got Jeff Ayers and ugly.com, Jeff Ayers wedding, Jeff Ayers divorce, Jeff Ayers bar mitzvah DJ, Jeff Ayers malpractice attorney. He's never even finished college. I spend every evening adding to my queue, but Netflix keeps adding more shows, you know, so it's just a real challenge to keep up. She takes hundreds of pictures of her food every day. I can't even remember the last time she posted one. How am I supposed to TPT in the future if I don't take a picture in the present? It's super important to be in control of your brand, past, present, and future. I'm still figuring out what my brand is, but locking down those URLs is definitely the first step. See, it's not even that bad. Open the trash. Why? Simone, open the trash. Why? Open the trash! We're never going to use jdizzle.net. Mom, I mean, how many times have I explained this to you? I've explained it to you. Jdizzle is my brand. And Sometimes I feel like I'm stuck between FOMO and YOLO. That's good.